we're going to be sticking a few new things under the microscope. For example, a centipede, a sand crab, some seaweed, and last but not least, a mushroom. Hope you like it. Millipede means 1,000 legs, but they have less than 1,000 legs. Centipede means 100 legs. The difference is a centipede has one pair of legs per body segment. But millipede has two pairs of legs per body segment. This one is a millipede. It comes out at night and eats dead leaves and grass. have hard shells, but no claws. They cannot bite or pinch you. They bury themselves in the sands where the waves break and leave their eyes above the sand. Some people fry them and say they taste great. They catch plankton with their antenna and they dig the sand with their back legs so their eyes stay above the sand. Seaweed are plants that live under the sea. They can be green, red, or brown. The deeper the seaweed lives, the darker its color. This sea lettuce is green and it has a lot of chlorophyll. And it needs a lot of sunlight and air. Plants use chlorophyll and light to make food. Chlorophyll is basically what makes plants green. This seaweed, I'm not sure what it is, but it also needs a lot of sunlight too. Are mushrooms fruits or vegetables? Well, guess what? They're not even plants. They are fungi. Fungi digest foods like animals using enzymes. But they grow like plants. Edible mushrooms are delicious. But there are many poisonous mushrooms. Guys, be careful, because if you go into your garden and you find some mushrooms, you never know if they're poisonous or not. We don't have any proof about how you know if it's poisonous or not. Don't even touch them. Okay guys, hope you like it.